In this video, we're going to do an example from the book, which explores the idea of estimating which of two groups would have a higher mean and which of two groups would have a higher standard deviation based on context. So the scenario here is that we have Bob who conducts a study where he randomly selects 200 people from the mall and he finds their annual income. And then there's Tina who conducts a study where she randomly selects 200 random vascular surgeons in New York and finds their annual income. So part A says, which study would most likely have the highest sample mean? So would the highest sample mean come from the group of people at the mall or would the highest sample mean come from the vascular surgeon group? And of course, the answer to that one would be that the sample of vascular surgeons would most likely have the highest sample mean. This makes sense because if you were to pick random people at the mall, then you would likely get some people who had low incomes, some had middle incomes, and some who had high incomes. It would be a wide range of values, and overall, the mean of all those incomes together would be kind of in the middle. Whereas the vascular surgeons all tend to make fairly high salaries. So if you imagine all of those salaries together, they would on average be much higher than a group of people at the mall. Part B then asks, which data set would most likely have the highest standard deviation? So remember, standard deviation is the average distance that the data values are from the mean. If you imagine the group of vascular surgeons and their lists of income, you would likely have a big group of high values that were all somewhat similar to one another. Vascular surgeons probably all make a fairly similar high salary. The fact that they have similar salaries to one another would mean that they likely have a low standard deviation. The difference between the values and the mean would be small, whereas the people at the mall would likely have a high standard deviation in salaries. You would have people at the mall with very low salaries and people at the mall with very high salaries. So the variation in salaries would be high. Since the variation in salaries is high for the people at the mall, they would have a high standard deviation. And since the vascular surgeons would have similar salaries, low variation in salaries, they would have a low standard deviation. 